Okay, now that we're ready to import our pictures into the, uh, the computer, we need to go ahead and uh, connect the computer and the camera. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and turn the camera on and we should get this window to pop up for our project. Um, we're going to select import pictures in this autoplay window. When we do that, we should get another window to open up for us. And this window says importing pictures and videos. The computer is going through and recognizing the pictures on the camera. And we have over 200 pictures. At this point, we need to choose a location in which we're going to place our pictures. So we'll select options. And in our import settings window, we want to select browse. And as a student, you'll select computer, scroll down and find your student login, and go ahead and uh, open up your uh, folder on the server. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and select desktop. And I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop, and I'm going to call it pictures. And that's where I'm going to go ahead and load my uh, pictures to. I'm going to select OK after I've selected my pictures folder. And we should see the path here. And then select OK. Uh, yes, it's OK uh, to make these changes for this um, install. Select OK. And we get our import pictures and videos window open up again and recognizes the pictures. So now we're going to go to import. And we're going to get this option here. It says erase after importing. If you have uh, just your pictures on this camera and there are no other pictures on here, then yes, select this. We want to erase uh, all the pictures uh, that are on this camera after you've imported them. If there are other pictures on there um, that other groups have taken, then do not select this. Leave those pictures on the camera and I'll go ahead and download them to my, my folder. So. We'll go ahead and select Erase after importing. And then we're going to go through this process of importing all the pictures. The more pictures you have on there, the longer, of course, it's going to take. OK, now that we have our pictures imported to our folder on the server, what we're going to want to do now is open up Windows Movie Maker. And then we're going to import our pictures into our Movie Maker software. So we'll select our location of our pictures. And in our case here, we have them saved on my desktop. But in your case, you're going to save them on the go to the computer, go to your folder on the server, and save them there. So we'll scroll down and find our pictures window or folder that we had. And there we go. Open and open this folder. And we're not going to load up all 200 and some odd pictures. We're going to load up this small section here, 18 pictures. And we're going to import those pictures. Our pictures are now imported, and here we have them. I need to select all of my pictures. And what I need to do now is change the time frame in which these are going to play. So I'm going to go to the Tools, pull down menu, scroll down to Options. And in the Advanced, well, it generally should come up General, but in the Advanced uh, tab, we want to select Picture Duration Time, and we want to change that to uh, 1 8th of a second. And that is what I have found uh, works best for these projects. And for our video properties, we want to change our aspect ratio to widescreen 16.9. And then we're going to select OK. It's going to go through and it's going to change our uh, duration time on each one of our, our pictures. So we want to make sure that we have our timeline uh, view open and we have a video timeline, we have an audio music timeline, we have a title overlay where well, we're going to insert a few things. So we're going to drag our pictures down into our video timeline and it'll import all of those for us and to the right in the viewing uh, window we can see uh, the first picture selected and then what the second one looks like etc. Okay. So once that is done now we're ready to import uh, music into our project. Um, we're ready to import uh, sound effects that maybe you've done on Audacity and then we also need to add our title and then we also need to add our credit slide to the end of this project. What we need to do now is save our project. So we're going to go to file and we're going to save project as uh, you're going to save it on the server so remember to go down to 
computer. Once you've selected computer, uh, select your folder on the server, etc. So we're just going to save it to the desktop. And I'm going to call this video1. And we're going to save it. And when we need to open it back up, we can uh, open up that video one and come back and, and finish our project. So enjoy yourself and uh, have a great time working on your project.